RipX promises to be a great tool for remixes, and in this video I'll demonstrate the basic techniques. I'll combine two tracks that are at different tempi and in different keys. The result, amazingly, will make musical sense. These are techniques you can easily apply to your own projects. Audio Masterclass, by the way, offers online courses to help you get professional results in your own home recording studio. Go to audiomasterclass.com to find out more. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and please share your thoughts in the comments. For these demonstrations, I have to use music that's OK for YouTube. As much as I would like to demonstrate what RipX can do using commercial releases, the rules are that I can't, so I need to work with music that's OK to use. With that being said, let's remix. I'll start by ripping the rhythm track. I want multiple instruments. I want to extract everything, and I want the highest quality. Let's rip. There it is. Let's listen. So we have some drums or percussion, and we have a single note bass. Let's listen to the individual tracks. There shouldn't be any voice, but I'll check. No, no voice. And the pink notes, it's interpreted as piano. That's OK, we can rename it. Let's listen to the piano. That's mostly the bass, I would say. Let's listen to what it calls the bass. OK, what it seems to have done is split the bass into its fundamental and lower harmonics, and then put the higher harmonics into the piano track. It's a quirk, and it usually wouldn't really matter. Let's listen to the bass drum. That's more or less what we expect, and let's try the percussion. So in the percussion we have a hi-hat and other miscellaneous percussion type sounds. It's worth checking the other, because sometimes strange things can get into the other track. OK, there are the strange things of the other track. Let's listen to the whole rhythm track again. OK, that's enough. What I'm going to do now is import some keyboard chords. The difficulties are, firstly, that the chords are in a different tempo, and secondly, they're in a different key. So I'm going to ask Rip X to correct both of those problems. Let's rip the keys. So this time I'm going to select single instrument, because I know it's a single instrument. And for the type of audio, we've got a choice between voice, bass, sound effects, drums unpitched, and other instrument. Well, I know what this sounds like, and I would call it an other instrument. Let's rip. That was actually a lot quicker, probably because it had less to do. Let's hear it. OK, it just goes like that all the way through. Just checking up here. What we can see is that the rhythm is 120 beats per minute. And here, we can see that the keys are at 110 beats per minute. So obviously, that's a mismatch. What I'll do is I'll select all of the keys. So Command A to select everything, and Command C to copy it to the clipboard. I'm sure you'll know the alternatives if you use Windows. Let's go back to the rhythm. If we go up to the Edit menu, we'll see Paste and Fit Tempo. So we'll do that. So hopefully, even though there's a tempo mismatch, the rhythm and the keys should be in perfect time. Let's play it and find out. So the tempos match nicely, but as you can hear, there's a mismatch between the key of the rhythm and the key of the keys. So while I've got the keys selected, I can use the up and down arrow keys to change the pitch. I could do this by trial and error, but I just happen to know that I need to go up by two semitones. So here we go. Up one, up two. Easy as that. So now when I play the whole thing, you should hear that it is in tempo and in tune. Here we go.
this is a simple musical arrangement, but being able to match tempi and match key is central to the process and art of remixing. You can get as complex as you like, down to individual instruments and individual notes. But I would advise starting with something simple like this. Then build up your skills step by step. I'm David Meller, Course Director of Audio Masterclass. Thank you for listening.